In this year of the tiger, Asia House, as part of its events and education program, launched an exhibition on the tiger in Asian art in early November, which will run until February 2011. The exhibition reflected the range of symbolism connected with the tiger in Asian art and religion through the centuries and right up to the present day. Revered as king of beasts, imbued with magic powers, a totem for military might, yet with its gentle protective side, and sadly, today often hunted for its body parts for use in medicine. The study day at Asia House brought together leading experts on tiger iconography in China and Southeast Asia. The tiger has long been seen as the essential counterpart to the dragon, and their relationship symbolizes the search for harmony. Martin Palmer is an expert on the iconography of the tiger. In Chinese thought, you can't just have one force. You cannot just have this monochrome force. And so there has always been this dialogue between the yin and the yang. The dragon represents the yang, the fiery, the hot, the divine, the heavenly, and so forth. The uh, tiger represents the earthly, the, the, the moist, the female, and so forth. And so you have this basic understanding in Chinese thought that there is heaven and there is earth, and they are represented by the dragon and by the tiger. Contemporary research shows that the tiger is as vigorous a symbol as ever in Asia. Its influence is revealed in everyday life. Susan Conway is a research associate at SOAS, the School of Oriental and African Studies at London University, and conducts field research into tiger tattoos. I work on tattoos and magic, not historically, but in present day in land Southeast Asia. And so I go into the villages and talk to the tattoo artists who explain why they use the tiger. And interestingly, recently I found an old monk who in, in the, during the Vietnam War actually did the tiger tattoos for the American military. Susan Conway has been conducting field research into tiger tattoos in the Shan states of northern Thailand. The tiger not only has this traditional symbolism of protector as well as predator, a beast radiating magnificent power, its skin was also used as parchment for diplomatic treaties and royal letters. In Taoist medicine, the god Yao Wang is portrayed with a dragon on his shoulder and a tiger at his feet, a reversal of the traditional yin and yang. Here you've got a very interesting switch. Because when you're consulting a doctor, even if it's a divine doctor of medicine, um, you're going because something's got out of balance. The yin and the yang is no longer right. So in this instance, when you go to the doctor god, you're dealing fundamentally with um, the dragon now representing the rebalancing to yin, because you've got too much yang, and the, the, the tiger rebalancing to yang because you've got too much yin. So it, it always, there is this search in Chinese medicine, philosophy, cosmology, how do we get the balance? Hunting tigers became a sport on a wide scale in the 19th and early 20th century. This, combined with the greatly increased demand for the tiger's body parts for traditional Chinese medicine in Asia and beyond, reduced the tiger population to its present endangered level. Susan Conway has recorded first-hand evidence of this in northern Thailand. There's been um, a, a move to actually build a temple right near the border to the tiger. And the villagers will tell you that they no longer hear the tiger, the bark of the tiger, or the sound of cubs now in the hills. Whereas within, the, within their lifetime, they regularly heard tigers. And so they've moved on in a kind of symbolism that this temple is almost like a memorial to the tigers that no longer exist. Wildlife conservation groups met with Taoist religious leaders and a new approach was conceived to oppose the illegal trade in tiger body parts. The Taoist response was to say, oh, we had no idea of this. Right. They went away, they thought, they researched, and they came back and they said, we will now excommunicate anybody who uses tra traditional Chinese medicine and uses endangered animal parts. And we said, well, that's great, but why? And they said, because you cannot possibly heal and rebalance a human being if in order to do that you have knocked the whole planet, the whole cosmos out of balance. 
In the early 20th century, there were estimated to be around 100,000 tigers in the wild. Current numbers are a little over 3,000. There is a real threat that future generations will come to view tigers as animals to be found only in captivity, the pale shadow of such an essential symbol in Asian art and religion.